We're in Leda HQ right now. The doors have just opened. It was starting to flood in right behind me. Potentially about to see Anthony Albanese become the 31st Prime Minister of Australia. Boats are just starting to trickle in. We're in for a very long night ahead of us. But people here are starting to get very excited. They have Anthony Albanese's being from the moment just behind us at the bar. People are very excited. This has been very cool. How are you feeling about all the results that are just coming in right now, just behind us? Uh, apprehensive. Might be minority government. Who knows? But currently, uh, feeling a lot better, a lot better than three years ago. The shock loss in 2019 hung over the crowd early on in the night, with many of those in attendance knowing that swinging historically coalition seats were crucial to win. There are a lot of positive signs. Hope for the best in Reed because that's a seat we definitely need to win if Labour has any chance of forming government. As the night drew on, the swing that many were hoping for three years ago had started to take its toll on the seat count, as Liberal strongholds of Reed, Boothby and Chisholm all swung to Labour. The crowd started to cheer louder as the night went on with more wins going to Labour and independence making it impossible for the coalition to form a government. And just before 10.30, the election was called for Labour, with Albanese delivering the line of the night on his way to Labour HQ. The crowd had to wait an hour between the election being called to Albanese making his first appearance. However, the Labour faithful were beyond elated, with many having waited for almost a decade for this very moment. Thank you very much.